Hey adventurers, welcome to the crew. I'm Sealer Janda, and this is my let's play of Pillars of Eternity. We've just finished the first level of the Endless Paths of Adnua, and we're heading back above the surface to talk to the steward. Okay, this ladder goes up. I feel like if there's additional levels, which implied there were, there'd be down. Must be through the thing that was magically sealed off that it said to talk to the uh, steward about. If there actually are, but I can't imagine why they'd label it level one otherwise. Oh, and there's that trapdoor. Um, I guess we go back into the keep. It is like you've reached the scholar lot. Uh, I beg your pardon. Nothing. I said nothing. Loth, why do you keep? And what does the flame reveal? Why do you keep abruptly turning Irish and insulting everybody? I think we need to talk to the steward again. Although, what does it actually say in the journal? Yeah, it does say to speak to the steward. Steward, yeah. Up. I felt Mayor Ward's passing. You slew him. Uh, he gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meowald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? Oh. So it seems we're getting a home base. Uh, I remember there was a stronghold icon on the uh, taskbar, wasn't there? guess this is it. It's a little ruined, but that's generally how things start. Um, well, I do have to go to the City of Defiance and search the Queen. The energy seems all at once to drain from the air. I see. If it's Defiance Bay you seek, I'm sorry to tell you that you've come a long way for nothing. The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago, and Mervold never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before his mind became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired if it is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it, for what am I but the master's instrument? It would take time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. That does not really make any sense. Clearly there's a road from Gilded Vale to Defiance Bay that normal people use. And it, you would think it would take days or more likely weeks to get this whole gate fixed, but, uh, sure, why not? How do I repair it? Merwald set aside materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, we will need coin for supplies and labor. Uh, so what does being master of this entail? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. To the extent to which you would to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we've been given instruction. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they're complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. This is all pretty standard stuff. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we can raise the keep's security in turn, these will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with threats to the keep. Then, then there are other things. Uh, so what do you mean about this keep, keep being cursed, eh? Merwald's curse was his own, a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather, far beneath it. 
At least such has been the conclusion drawn by all who have come to this place, for what spirits still linger in the endless paths oft speak of a master below. Every effort to settle here has failed, from the time of our adhering colonists onward. Beasts rise from the endless paths till the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below, this master, does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen from time to time intrepid explorers descend to lay claim to what answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Cadnua a barren ruin and robbed me of my hopes. The endless paths! That, my friend, is where I must go, where we must go if you will go with me. Whatever devils lie beneath, think to what knowledge we'll find. Perhaps this master speaks a deer in? Um, so what are the endless paths? The endless paths of Ad Nua. That is the name given to the labyrinth beneath the keep. The Earl, he... We were warned by the Glanfathans that this site was cursed, and there is a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Angwithin named Adnua, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless paths and filled many of the upper tunnels in with soil and stone. No one living knows how far down the tunnel stretch, and few who have ventured there have returned. There is much talk of riches and treasure. The promise of Angwithin relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers. To their deaths, I fear. So, do we have any idea who this master below is? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man said to have been the architect of the Endless Paths. The young within tyrant, Adnua. Some claim his spirit endures, or at least has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine much remains of his work, for the ruins have been here a thousand years or more. But what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen, while below, the hand of the great statue Adnua constructed. Perhaps it's the statue of Adnua himself. Yes, that was the hand that we ran up onto at the very end, wasn't it? Um, so does that imply we have to get down to, like, the feet of this giant underground statue? Probably. But am I not the master of Adnua? Of course you are. The keep would have no other. But the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It's unfortunate, really, that they're so closely entwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I, I know it's much to take in, but if you would remain, if you would be lord of this place, then I can only advise you to seek out this foe before it destroys you. Okay. Uh, I don't actually have any other questions. You must know, this queen you're looking for, Defiance Bay has no queen. The Mequins of Vader haven't reigned there here since the war. The only queen with any power there is Wurika. I'm told they erected an exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. Okay, so it is a temple that we're talking about, not an actual queen. If you mean to go there, we can get started right away on repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do, and I'll make the necessary arrangements. Merwald kept a ledger as it happens, and I've taken the liberty of updating it. You can take a look if you wish. Yeah, sure. Then we'll get underway at once. The steward's voice belies a giddy excitement. Know, my lord, that this is but the first and the least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defenses will keep your grounds from becoming overrun as they did under Merwald's keeping. You need not choose all at once. I'm pledged to your aid, and so long as your master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me. Wherever your travels may take you, you can make your will known to me if you but reach out. Oh, but first, of course, the Barbican. Oh boy, look at this. It's a giant ledger of upgrades we can make to this keep. Upgrades to your stronghold cost money, take time. Each adds security or prestige or functionality. All right, we have... Two prestige, miscellaneous, zero security, and we have 3,500 copper. Status, actions, upgrades, hirelings, party management. Okay, we can do party management. There's no hirelings, so we have to build barracks. They help defend the stronghold from collateral damage in the event of an attack. They cost money to maintain, but their cost usually offsets the potential for damage, and they contribute to the security and prestige of the stronghold, sometimes negatively. Hmm. 
I guess we can hire on prestigious folks. No actions, but uh, events occur at the stronghold as time elapses. The higher your stronghold's prestige, the more positive the events tend to be. However, a high security is also important to help prevent theft and kidnappings. Adventures are opportunities for your companions and adventurers to earn experience while they aren't in the party. Visitors can affect security and prestige of the stronghold while they're present. Some events even offer rare items for sale during limited periods of time. Hmm. Okay, so we can get events. Stronghold status, turn one and two, nothing new to report. Alright, upgrades. There are many. It appears, I mean, okay, these first ones are... There's two different Barbicans we can rebuild. East and West. Apparently that river's called the Isha Ian. We can restore the mansion. We can fix the main hall. The bailey. Towers. More walls. Let's just add security. Now we can fix the library. Barracks. We can actually repair the dungeons. We can get a merchant. We can get a uh, weapons and armor merchant and an exotica merchant. For I assume this is basically just for getting pets, or maybe it's also for getting rare loot, crafting ingredients and such. Artificer's Hall for traps, chapel for scrolls. Okay, this is the forum that just gives an intellect bonus. Training grounds for might bonus. Garden for generating plants, hedge maze for creating an obstacle, stealth bonus, warden's lodge for survival bonus, woodland trails, constitution and athletic bonus, a hearth for more order, a lab, and a courtyard pool, which I feel like is just strictly aesthetic. These are all, they're not actually, well, they are expensive. I mean, all together there's like there must be twenty or 30,000 copper worth of upgrades here. But the individual ones are not that bad. I mean, what's the most expensive? 2,500? Yeah, looks like it. And they're all interdependent. we got to fix the main keep and Bright Hollow and all that. Okay, anyway, first thing, I guess, is the Eastern Barbican. We need to fix it in order to get to the Wood End Plains, which is the crossroads between Cadenua, Deerford, and Defiance Bay. Plus one prestige and two security. And it's free. Yay. Apparently it's completed instantly. And we have a quest to explore the endless paths, as well as one to head south. We're also all dying, and we have no camping supplies left. It is good to see you here. I can feel a change in the air already. There is much to do. Is there anything I can do to help? What's the state of the keep? Oh, it just, that just opens the stronghold menu, I see. Okay. So, the only two options now... Oh, there's actually three. We can have four, even. We can fix... I assume these two buildings are both outside the walls. Which would give a survival bonus or a constitution and athletics bonus. We can't rest in Bright Hollow because we haven't fixed it, so... Should we restore the uh, main house while we're here? Probably. It's only 500 copper. Then we can actually rest. Yeah, let's do it. Don't two days. Um, makes sense. But kind of. Everything's still wrecked in here, huh? I guess we have to pay for the restoration before it'll be not wrecked. You know what else? There is one. Uh, there's one container in um, Merval's room that we couldn't open because we didn't have any lockpicks, but we looted some lockpicks somewhere, so I'm going to go open it.
Yeah, this one right here. Oh, the key opens it even. Annie. An Adra. And another, what, almost probably 400 gold or copper worth of uh, gold pieces. All right. That'll pay for the restor restoration of the house pretty much by itself, I think. So now what to do? We definitely need to rest before we go anywhere else. Unfortunately, we're very out of camping supplies. And we're just not in very good uh, condition. Let me see my quests. Okay. We've got to go to the Temple of Wurka. We've got to go deeper in the endless paths, but I'm guessing that's going to be very dangerous, considering how dangerous the level we were just in was. We've got to find this guy's book, but that's just more of that. Keep traveling with Durance. Bring Ada to... I've done this. I don't know if it's... Oh, okay. No, alright. Merival was not in any condition to answer questions. Ada will have to decide how to proceed. So it's not bugged. Uh, we probably just have to sleep with him being in the party or something. For now, I have two side quests that are done, but that we just haven't turned in. Which would we just have to go back to Gilded Vale to turn them in. So I think we're going to do that. Let me also walk straight across and just see what's down here. We can actually see the map now. That's nice. It's kind of weird how the wall doesn't really... I, we have to assume, I guess, that the wall does extend back here, but it's weird that it's not on the map. Oh yeah, we couldn't go through here before, but now we can. So the Eastern Barbican is indeed repaired. Fantastic. So what is to the south? Oh, wow, all the way to the Wood End Plains. Or... Well, see, it seems like the primary route would be via the Modimir Bridge, which I feel like this road leads to the Wood End Plains, though. Well, first things first, I'm going to just go all the way back to Gilded Vale, because we've got a couple of side quests to turn in. And there's also that area to the east of Gilded Vale that we haven't really explored yet, which I feel like maybe we should before heading to Defiance Bay. We should also really rest. I'm gonna go rest immediately and buy some more camping supplies. We should probably sell some stuff and such, too, but uh, I'll leave that for now. Hail and well met. I'd like a room. Specifically, I would like to sleep on the floor for free. Thanks. Fantastic. True adventuring tradition, that. Okay, so we got... Up here is Alfred's house. I think it's this one. So then, the cure we got for her is not actually a cure. I don't know if we tell her that or not. Might be just as well if we didn't and hoped for some kind of... Well... Welcome. You were some time away? I've worried you wouldn't return. Is that it? Have you brought it? 
Alfred looks at you, hopefully. What did Rangus say? Well, I have it. Here you go. You really did it. Oh, bless you. Bless you. I don't know what I would have done without you. Now my baby will be safe. Alfred beams at you. I can't thank you enough. Um... I feel I'm a little guilty about lying to her, but I'm we're not really getting a major reward. Maybe the psychosomatic effect will help her out. Like the placebo effect, I mean. I'm just gonna nod. Oh. Um alright, well. Thank you again. I'll take this before I settle into bed. Perhaps I'll finally rest easy. Well, see, that is the goal, is for her to rest easy, more than for it to actually... There's just nothing we can do to be sure whether her kid will be hollowborn or not. Personally, I'd have probably told her that the reward was unnecessary, considering... Oh, who the hell are you? Kolsk. Hold, sir, but a moment. A hooded man waits upon the road, clad in a green cloak. He strides forward to meet you as you approach, and at a closer distance his features are revealed for those of a younger man, though lined with weariness. He appears to be favoring his left leg as he walks, and there's a dark stain upon the fabric of his trousers under the knee. Even so, he greets you with a polite bow. It seems you've done dear Alfred a great service. The man nods towards the nearby house. Anslog's compass is a dangerous place, and yet you were willing to venture there to help her. Oh, so I guess that was the trigger for this guy? Gilded Vale needs such courage in these dark times. Stout hearts willing to do what's necessary to save these people. He turns to look out over the village. Can I count you among that number? Uh, well, who the hell are you? Only a man determined to see Gilded Vale restored to its former glory. There was a time, stranger, when Gilded Vale was worthy of its name. The wheat shone like gold on the hills, and the village's people lived well. I don't know about the golden crops, but there were less flies anyway. The fair eater. And what has become of it now? Whatever has caused the blight upon our lands, it's not the fault of its people. Radric looks to punish us for crimes we've not committed, and in turn he is blind to his own. I am not, and he will pay for what he's done. I, Kolsk, swear it by the flame. Like many tyrants, he surrounded himself with stronger men and women for fear of retribution. The man smiles thinly. And so you're warned. If you would press on despite that, however, I wonder if we might not help one another. Mm -hmm. What is it you want me to do? The man nods, standing a little straighter. It is a grim task that I ask of you, but I assure you there's no other option. Lord Radric must be stopped. Too long has Gilded Vale suffered under Radric's madness. He would cure Wademan's legacy by ensuring there are none alive in the village to be afflicted. I fear his own wife, Ygrid, may be at risk. The man has no mercy in him. Ooh, I don't even consider that, but... Yeah, if her kid... Her kid was hollowborn. He'll probably kill her now. Yeah. We have not stood idle. My people and I breached the defenses, intent on ending Radric's rule ourselves. We entered through the sewers under cover of night, but we were routed. His face darkens. There are dark creatures down there in the dungeons. The work of Radric's Animancer. It falls to you. Lord Radric has called for further reinforcements, and soon there will be no stopping him. Our time grows short in this hour. I must beg assistance where I can. He's going to owe us more than some rubble-strewn plot of land after this. Fling him from the ramparts, or else cut his head from his shoulders. I care not. Once his throne lies empty, Gilded Vale will have the stewardship that it deserves. Well, he does seem to be a piece of work. Yeah, we'll kill him. Then I commend you on your courage and thank you for your assistance. But I would not send you onward without due warning. Radric's hold is crawling with soldiers and swords, all loyal to Radric. They will not take kindly to intruders. In truth, they'll be all the more alert for our failed efforts. A frontal assault would be unwise. If you would brave it, you could follow our steps and seek out the entrance to the sewers at the eastern edge of the moat. He looks away. But several of my men were captured. It may be the entrance has been found and sealed anew. Those men were under my command. I would be in your debt if you found some means of helping them. 
Once you make it inside, seek out my old friend, Nedmar. He's the high priest, Baratheon, now that the Shining God has fallen. A good man in difficult circumstances. He'll listen to reason. Durrance chortles, nearly choking at his own disdain. Shining God? He never shone so brightly as when the bomb took him. The moniker's obsolete now. Ash does not shine. It's like if someone was to call you the attractive priest, Durrance. <laughs> Nedmar can help you reach Rhetoric, but he resides in the upper level of Rhetoric's hold, protected by guards and mercenaries. You'll have to keep to the shadows if you mean to reach him without alarming the entire keep. Okay, thank you for the advice. I consider it a blessing from the gods that I've found someone that understands honor and duty. Redrick's hold lies past the eastern wood, not far to the east. May Magron bring you victory, friend. I wish you luck. Hmm, okay. New quest, then. Do we have to wait for Coulson to walk off screen? I guess we do. Um, all right. Well, I was planning to head east anyway, but we are going to have to take care of our inventory management first. Also, let me turn in this quest to the blacksmith. Can't help but notice that Loth chose to go a different way than the whole rest of the party. We've split up three ways, that's quite something. Let me all come. Pretty much simultaneous, yeah. Alright, Smith. Hail, Traveler. Oh yeah, you're right, okay. Found your shipment. Tuatanu reaches out to take the crate, raising it effortlessly onto the counter. His face splits in a broad smile. Why, so you have. This is excellent news. We can finally get back to work and show you real black hammer quality. None of these flimsy little swords. Here, I'll give you the ta a taste. He ducks behind the counter and rises with a heavy wooden shield in hand. Might not have had much in the way of materials to work with, but it's still black hammer craftsmanship. You go on and take that. We've gained larder door. Okay. And here, some coin for your troubles too. His pleased expression dims. Did you find anyone with the wagon? Uh, well... Uh, there were bandits. Tuitanu shakes his head, running a hand over his bald pate. Poor fools. Always told them they ought to hire some guards instead of palming the extra coin. And that is kind of on them. He sighs. I'll have to hire on more hands. Don't suppose you want to settle in Gilded Vale, try some delivery work? He smiles thinly. You have my thanks for your assistance, friend. Give me some time to work the forge, and you'll have your pick of the next run of weapons. Fantastic. Hello. No, oh, apparently I don't actually have to wait any time. Well, what do you got? I can't tell if we... I think we do have a discount. A lot of the prices are real weird and specific. Uh, but it's hard to be 100% sure. We have a larder door is a large shield with 16 deflection, minus 8 accuracy, grants bash. Appears to have once quite literally comprised the front of a larder. It still has the pull ring and metal cross bands reinforcing its surface, giving it considerable heft when swung at an opponent. Despite its humble origins, the nicks and gouges on the shield's surface suggest it's seen more than a few battles in its time and proved a sturdy defense though it leaves the harrowing prospect that there may be a larder somewhere lying undefended. Hmm. All right. Um. All right, I'm gonna, I gotta sell some stuff. Such as... That's a good two-handed sword. I'll keep the pry bar. I don't need the wolf hide. I feel like I don't need the great sword when I have a fine stock. Don't need the mace. Oh, I see. It's basically... Basically, the larder door is a large shield with bashing two. Fair enough. Probably don't need... Ooh, this is better male armor than what I'm wearing. Or medium armor than what I'm wearing. Oh. Um... 
Probably don't need multiple helms or multiple mail armor sets. Don't need that. Keep the pry bar. Sell all the wolf hides. This letter, did I read this? Yes. Probably don't need the Zorips stuff. Uh, spears. Hmm. The Grimoire. I feel like we should hold on to that, just in case. Sell the wand, it's just generic. Nobody wears that kind of armor. I read that. Hold on to Durant's robe. Alright, then what do we have in here? All kinds of junk. Takes up a lot of the space. Pretty sure anything that's not highlighted is pretty much junk. I mean, the number of Zori spears we have is just kind of crazy. Okay, and then armor-wise, we got uh, various leather, hide, and clothing of no value. more hoods than we know what to do with. Just all kinds of random caps and helms and things. They're mostly decorative, we'll hold on to some of them. Honestly, I'm probably going to sell the drugs, I don't think we're going to use them. Fortunately, it doesn't seem they're actually illegal, just... All this food is not worth anything. I'm not selling our spider. I will sell these pages, but I'm going to keep the books. And here. Keeping the things that are obviously, I mean, clearly this is the ingredients section. I don't know what the gems are used for. I'm going to go ahead and sell them. They're not like super fine gems, so I assume they're not that valuable. Okay, so we got 858 gold off of him. Is there anything we urgently need to buy? He's got this lance. I don't really have anybody that uses a pike. He's got this arbalest. I don't have anybody that's using that either. He's got some generic... Very expensive, fine weapons. He has this dagger. Also, don't know who uses that. I mean, I could buy, like, a fine sword. Apparently, that's 1300 in itself. He has this buckler, but it's only usable by a paladin, and I don't have a paladin. I think we leave it. Obviously, we're not going to get the money to buy all the special things. Fascinating how a single unique weapon costs more than, like, restoring the entire mansion back at Kadnua by an order of magnitude. I can't just open this any time, huh? Turn three, turn four, I don't know if those are days or what. Um, 16 hours, Bright Hollow will be finished. I can't just buy these from anywhere, huh? Well, I've just decided I'm not going to spend my money elsewhere, so maybe let's... 
also upgrade the main keep. Oh, I can only do one at a time. Alright, noted. How does the steward arrange all this anyway? Like, they can't move. Are they just like telepathically commanding the local villagers to do this stuff? Uh, we rested once. I'm Hail, just here so we can buy. Um... Yeah, cook is one thing. I'm looking for. Green. I'm looking for camping supplies. I think they sell them. Oops. No, I don't want turquoise. No, oh, they sell letters. I didn't realize that. Ah, camping supplies, yes. I'll clear you out of those. Oh, these are books that I sold to them already. Yeah. Okay, then I'll just buy your camping supplies and go. So I believe it's east. Yeah. Well, I think we can also get there from the Black Meadow, but what, whatever. The Eastern Wood, and then I guess Redrick's Hold's probably here. Just guessing based on the map. So it said the route to Defiance Bay was through the Wood End Plains, but it seems like you could also just go via this bridge. Uh, we'll check that out after we're done up here. Is the party on its way? Or... They take a long time to cross a map. Here they come. Marching in a perfect, weirdly close to each other column. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to head to the Eastern Wood and then Radrick's Hold, but I'm going to call it here for tonight. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I uh, hope you have a nice day. This is Sealer Agenda, signing off.